being in the RCB setup around the likes of Virat Kohli, Glenn Maxwell and A.B. de Villiers is an invaluable learning experience for any cricketer. It was exactly the same for Suyash Prabhudesai. A year older, wiser and more confident, Suyash returns to the red and gold for a second season with RCB. Hey guys, you're watching RCB 12th Man TV. It's time for us to talk about a certain going all-rounder once again, Suyash Prabhudesai, in this episode of Know Your Challenger. He might not have gotten an opportunity to showcase his skills at the IPL stage last season, but there was obviously something that the management had seen in Suyash Prabhudesai. The going all-rounder seems to have soaked up plenty of knowledge from the legends in the RCB dressing room. Be it a few technical adjustments that allowed him to get a little more power into his shots or even how to pace an innings in a T20 game, Suyash says he had plenty to absorb. And those words of wisdom have translated into improved all-round performances too for Suyash. In the 21-22 season of the Syed Mushtaq Ali Trophy, Goa were the only team to beat the champions Tamil Nadu and Suyash was the star. Finishing off the run chase with a brilliant unbeaten 43 of just 24 deliveries in a low scoring encounter, Suyash Prabhudesai made the headlines. Being honest with oneself is a key aspect to learn and grow and Suyash has that in abundance. Back in 2019 when he wasn't picked in the IPL auction by any of the teams, Suyash did not lose hope but rather accepted that he wasn't ready yet for the big stage. And you cut to three years later, he now returns to the RCB fold with plenty of experience at the domestic level. A strike rate of 148 in the T20s isn't a bad way to say that you can smash a few, isn't it? Bats lower down the order, can finish off in innings effectively and can chip in with a few overs of medium pace as well. Will 2022 be the year when we get to see the going all-rounder in the RCB setup make his debut on the field? We only hope. <laughs>